So today's episode of Books in 140 Seconds is going to be about Joey Camo's One Bloody Thing After Another. Spotless. Oh, isn't that amazing? Could use the spot lamb. Um, and so it's a horror novel for people who don't like horror novels. Um, it's pretty short, and it tells the story of three interconnected characters, Anne and Jackie, who are best friends. And Jackie has to deal with the haunting of her dead mother. Anne has to deal with her mother turning into a monster. And then this old man, Charlie, who is haunted by a headless ghost. And then they all come together in the end. Um, to start, it's a great book to get into in the sense that it has really short chapters um, and you really just kind of want to know what's going to happen. So I found that it drew me in fairly quickly and you could read it during a particularly long TTC delay. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice thing about it. And what Aaron said about being a horror novel for people who don't like horror novels, I don't. I'm a wuss. Um, I don't but, either. But really... But it's not, I don't know if it's so much about the horror. The horror is actually quite subtle. You've got things mm -hmm. like just people have too many teeth and their mouths are moving weird and things that leave a lot to the imagination. Exactly. But what you actually have are quite touching moments about the importance of family or about how difficult it is to grow up, to come to terms mm -hmm. with liking someone who might not like you. So very human moments, even though there are these kind of superhuman things happening all around them. Yeah, it's... It's very well done, a horror, and it's why like I called it a quasi horror novel because it's not quite. Um, and he does Joey just does a surprisingly good job of capturing the teen girl experience. I mean, both Anne and Jackie are then unaged, but I'm assuming they're 14, 15, mm -hmm. and realizing those emotions they go through when they're trying to like a girl, another girl, or just you know, or Anne trying to deal with growing up because she now has to take care of her mother and she has to take care of her child, and also with growing old with Charlie because Charlie's losing everyone around him and he's getting quite old. Even and his profoundly stupid little dog mm -hmm. who I have. Mm -hmm. to say I just adored um, and so yeah. this is an example of things can go terribly 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 wrong and somehow they still kind of turn out okay exactly it's it's really about as you said earlier family and friendship and just growing up and growing old and it's, uh, it's kind, cute. And it's, it's kind of feel-good horror. Yeah, it's yeah, cute, yeah. and it's charming, and it's well worth the read. And if you do read it, you will learn the secret message of the Headless Ghost. We won't it's tell true. you what it is. You have to look for it. Mm -hmm. You have to read it. It's like so. an Easter egg hunt mm -hmm. in book form.